Hello and welcome to my channel Students Companion Online Academy. My name is Neha and I prepare free videos for students to assist them in virtual learning. In today's video, we are going to describe the biochemical characterization of the genetic material. This video is actually continuation of our last video session on transforming principle by Frederick Griffith. In this particular experiment, we had showed how the heat killed S strain had transferred the genetic material into the R strain, which led the transformation of the R strain into live S strain. If you want to refer to our last video, then the link is provided in the description below. In this session, we're going to discuss the characterization experiment by Avery MacLeod and McCarty, 1933 to 44. So. What they did is they, they isolated the biochemicals protein, DNA, RNA from the pneumonococcus bacteria which was the heat killed S strain and for the characterization experiment they tried to figure out what was the nature of the genetic material is it the protein or RNA or DNA okay so let's begin with the experiment there were three sets to be very specific. In the first set, the scientists digest, digested the protein with the enzyme protease, RNA with enzyme RNAs, and DNA with enzyme DNAs. Following that, in the first set, the pro which was actually containing the protein now this mixture is not containing any protein because of the enzyme digestion similarly in the second set there is no RNA and in the third set there is no DNA after that this mixture was incorporated into cultured R strain and it was observed in the first set that there were live S strain in the culture medium. Now this concludes that the R strain was transformed into the S strain. Similarly in set B and set C observations were carried out. Now the conclusion can be carried out from the first set is that protein is definitely not the transforming material because in its absence transformation happened. Now after observation from the second set, again live S strain was found. This means that R strain was transformed into S strain again and hence it can be concluded that RNA is definitely not the genetic material because in its absence transformation occurred. In the third and the last set, it was observed that R strain was not transformed the transformation was inhibited and it can be concluded that DNA can be the genetic material. After this experiment, however, there were a group of scientists who did not accept these results and they still believe that protein is the genetic material. The final conclusion to what is the nature of genetic material is provided in the third and the last experiment by Hershey and Chase that we will be discussing in our next video session. Now coming to the brainstorming session which is my favorite part again. Uh, I want you to find the answer to this question. Do you know how is protein, DNA and RNA isolated from cultured cells? Okay, so thank you for watching this video and if you are a knee draper aspirant or if you are preparing for your bio 10 to 12 or you know you are simply a science student and you want to take science tuitions on one class one to nine then you can stay tuned for further videos getting uploaded on this channel we're also on facebook and twitter you can also follow us there thank you so much for watching and like share and comment also subscribe and press the bell icon for staying updated on our latest videos thank you so much happy learning